Welcome to Amateur Redneck Workshop. I'm Harold and I'm the resident redneck and we have another video here for you where no rednecks were harmed in the making of the video. Looks like a redneck could use a haircut though. Anyway, I uh, was watching Mr. Lee Peden on uh, Prag Mr. Pragmatic Lee channel and he's creative and imaginative and, and a smart cookie and I saw he had one of those optical edge finders and I thought well if he's going to use one maybe there's not something wrong with it so I bought one ordered the little booger off of eBay and I don't know what that said but I'll try and look it up on Google Translate comes in a genuine imitation wood box and uh, like that there's no documentation with it I had to go back to eBay and read what it said to find out what kind of batteries it took, which is N size batteries, takes two of them. And actually, it'll, if you put a uh, single AA battery in it, it'll beep when it uh, when it touches something, but the light won't come on. You got to have the two uh, batteries to get the three volts for the light, for the LED. All right, so a couple of little caveats here. This, uh, this edge finder comes in 20 millimeter shank. It just so happens I have some metric collets. Uh, in fact, that includes a 20 millimeter collet. And it only took me a half hour to find them in here today. <laughs> that seems like it. every time I start looking for something in here, it's, everything's a surprise. I got stuff I don't even know I got, you know? Part of being old, but Anyway, we're going to test it against a common ordinary edge finder to see if if this thing's wonderful or not. And one of the things we're going to do is we're going to check it for run out and then we're going to find the edge with it and then we're going to insert a regular normal edge finder and see if we can find the edge with it and uh, we'll try and figure out where we are from there. All right, so let's uh, I guess let's just get on with it. Okay, that's our edge finder in, uh, in a 20 millimeter collet. And it's sitting there ready and waiting to be, uh, to be played with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, uh, a dial indicator, clock gauge as Double Boost calls it, and I'm going to put it right here on this little ball and see if we got any run out. Let's take this little bugger here, and I'll have to drop the, the table, the, drop the knee just a little bit. All right, that looks to be just about right. Bring the knee up just a little. All right, let's back the thing into the. As you can see, it's going to give me a, a signal that I've touched the edge here before I do anything. We're just going to have to, to deal with that while we check the run out. All right, let me move the camera and make sure that you can see the, the dial indicator. And just try to pretend that irritating noise is not there. All right, let's crank it up and see what we got. Oh, that looks like run out. That it does. That could be, oh, let's see. See how much it could be. That could be a good 8,000 run out. And you can hear it beep, beep, beep. Let's back the thing off and, and see if we hit a spot where it just... Okay, looks like a strobe light on a cop car. And it, it, every time it comes around and touches the, the indicator, it beeps at me. So, 
15 bucks well spent, huh? That includes shipping. Um, <laughs> plus five bucks for the two batteries that weren't included. Okay, I got the thing set up here. Uh, the indicator's ready to check this one to see if, what kind of run out that it might have. Just ease up on it until we touch. That looks like a full 5,000 to the inch to me. Now both of these guys came from uh, the land across the ocean where everything's made. So maybe they had the same quality control guy. So now how do I know if I'm on X or not? Or whether, how far over X is? Good question, isn't it? Let's just continue on from here. All right, let's uh, let's give it a try and see if we can find X with it or I mean Y. I'm going to do the Y axis. Let's just see. It's wobbling around. Looks like it's steadied up. And it broke over. We'll mark that as uh, Y0. And I'll try it one more time just to make darn sure that it's going to look like that. Same place, pretty much. It was uh, 0 0.0002, and the other was 0 0.0000, so like two ten thousandths difference. All right. So what we'll do here, I know that that little booger is two hundred thousandths diameter, so we'll raise him up, and we'll come forward until we get to zero. Come all the way around to one hundred thousandths. All right, and I'll show you the, the DRO. Well, you know I'm not trying to bamboozle you. Sitting on one hundred thousandths right there, the Y axis. Zero. Y axis absolute zero. Now then I'll move over and put the other edge finder in and let's see. Alright, I measured the little ball on the optical edge finder and said it's 0 0.3933. There we are, 0.3933. We'll just leave it sitting there like this so we won't forget. And We'll try finding the edge of this little booger. Here we go. Make sure you guys are watching with bated breath. How everyone does that. According to my DRO, that's at 0 0.200. Let me drop it down just a tiny bit to be absolutely certain that I'm not on the exact edge. We'll ease it back in again.
Alright, that's point two zero one nine seven. Show you the DRO. So let me go do the math and figure out where we'll be if I'm at half of that. Okay, so half of point three nine three 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 is point one nine six six five. And uh, so I'm gonna switch over to incremental and put that number in as the Y zero. Then I'm gonna lift the little booger up or whatever and move out this way that half amount. Point one nine six six. In fact, that's point one nine <coughs> six six five, which is exactly what I've got here. All right, you can see it. Now. So let me zero that. That's going to be zero on the incremental. All right. So now then, let's switch over to absolute and see how much difference there is. Looks like there's five thousandths difference between the two of them as to where the edge is located. I don't think I could really count on either one of them to get me a really super Tom Lipton accurate edge. Hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. We'll have to figure out what conclusions to draw here. Alright, so there's a half inch end mill in that half inch collet. And I've got about 2,000 run out. So, I would guess that uh, we should track that from the 5,000 of the solid uh, edge finder that it has less run out than we'd think. And what we have there is a piece of half inch drill rod, what our British cousins call silver steel. And it's ground and all that sort of thing. And we still got the same 2000s runouts. I'm, I'm guessing the runouts in the collet. So there you are. So, what did we prove? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Except that uh, edge finding, there's edge finding and then there's edge finding. And I don't think that I can rely on anything. I've got to be just really slap dab Tom Lipton accurate so uh, I'm going to have to look around for a, a much more accurate edge finder and then come back and try it again but the one thing I do know is that uh, the uh, optical guy he pushed me five thousandths further off than, uh, than the solid one and uh, that doesn't help much I don't think Let's go see what Bubba's doing. I'm sure he's up to something, him or Thibodeau or somebody. Boudreaux's wife, Clotilde, was taking a bath there on a, on a Friday evening. and She heard the knock on the door, so she jumps out of the tub, just comes stark naked there, and bounces down to the front door and says, Who's there? This voice on the other side says, Blind man. She said, What you say? He said, Blind man. So she thought about it a minute and she thought, well, if he's blind, he can't see nothing, no way, no need to go back and get me a, a bathrobe or nothing. So she pops up in the door and says, well, what do you want? He says, well, he said, like I said, I'm the blind man. He said, I'm here to install them blinds you bought at Home Depot. Well, that's all, folks. Uh, Y'all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And above all, remember, 
keep on keeping on. Bye now.